What's up folks, my name is Felix, welcome back to a new video, a lot to talk about, a lot of new stuff regarding airdrop farming, that's why we don't want to waste any time and get right into it. The first thing we want to talk about is Tabby, I mentioned this project now a few times on my channel and they just announced that they will go live on Cosmos, so they will have their own Cosmos layer 1 gaming blockchain, the testnet will go live in February. And that's why I want to use this here as a reminder that you do all their tasks. So, for example, their social tasks on here where you do the sailor's quest, the reddit quest. And if you did all of them, you can also do the mermaid quest and go to the galaxy platform and also do the quests over there. Because those are the things you can currently do and will most likely qualify you for the later on tabby airdrop. And why you want to do that is pretty simple because if you take a look at the raw numbers here, we have 11 million in raised funds and investors here are very well known. We have Hashkey and Binance Labs, which are tier one venture capitals. And we also have Anamoka Brands, which is pretty popular. So definitely don't pay Tabby. I have a feeling that this will be a very, very big one. Next up on our list today is Stride. Stride is a liquid staking platform on the layer one blockchain in the Cosmos ecosystem. And they just announced that they will have a liquid staking token for tier called ST tier. And they write here, what if you could liquid stake your tier and still be included in all the upcoming Celestia airdrops? So it seems like they found a solution for it as they also did for Staked Atom. As they state down here, Staked Atom has gotten airdrops, my friend, Neutron, Pyth, and Dimension. Projects are increasingly chosen to include staked tokens in their airdrops. And there is, of course, another option in the Cosmos or Celestia ecosystem, which is Milky Way. I covered this project right from the beginning once they went on mainnet. And those state on their homepage as well, if we scroll all the way down to the FAQ section, that we are working on a solution to distribute airdrop tokens to milk tier holders and will share more details once it is confirmed. And I think it's very likely that milk tier holders are also included because of the fact that Milky Way stakes their tier into the validators. And the receipt token you are getting for staking with Milky Way is the milk tier token. So I think. 90 95% you will also qualify for the airdrops if you stake in Milky Way, but more about that in the future once they really confirm it and we have an airdrop that will be distributed from them to us, the investors. So, for people that are now thinking about switching the platform, going to Stride, keep in mind Milky Way has no token yet. Stride already has its own token. So, it might be in your interest in combination with Demex as well to stay with Milky Way. Keep your tokens in here and then lend your tokens on Demex, get tier in return, so borrow tier, and then stake them into the validators so you have a multiplier on your airdrop allocation. That's at least my strategy in here. You should figure out what's best for you, of course. Next up on our list is Altlayer. This project just went live today at 9 a.m. UTC. It's trading on Binance now at around 30 cents, as we can see also here on CryptoRank. And before we get into the airdrop details and where you can claim it and what about the tier stakers, I want to mention AVO here because I, for example, farmed really hard for AVO. This will be a massive airdrop and those guys have a pre-launch platform for tokens. For example, if you take a look here in the pre-launch token section, their alt layer was also listed until it went live today. And this was also the case in the past for other tokens. So the predictions here or basically the price is very similar to the launch price of most of the tokens. So for example, if you qualified for the Jupiter airdrop or for the Dimension airdrop, I think those prices are very precise here. They might, of course, change over time. But from my experience, you can expect the launch prices to be very similar to the pre-launch token prices here on AVO. So if you qualified for alt layer, for example, through staking with Eigenlayer, did some restaking over there, or you were an early support in the project, collected some NFTs or all other tasks which were on EVM chains, you can now insert your wallet address here and check if you qualified. The link for the page is airdrop.altlayer.io. I will of course provide all the links down in the description box as always. But just keep in mind, if you qualified maybe through staking your tier tokens, which they also mention in their Medium document over here, this is not available yet for claiming. They will have a separate staking page for it. And we also don't know yet if the snapshot date counts for tier stakers. 
So again, if you potentially quantified through staking your tier tokens, we also don't know what the minimum here in this case was. You have to wait until the official claim page for this is live as well. Just follow their Twitter account and maybe also their Discord account. And once they drop the announcement, you can check if you qualified for it. Another thing in this video I want to cover is LogX, a trading platform which also has no token yet. And those, it seems, are the first ones who are announcing an airdrop or at least hinting for an airdrop for Manta Stakers, as we can see here. Manta Stakers are in for a big gift, more alpha soon. And the only things you have to do here to get some NFTs are, for example, trading a minimum of 1,000 US dollars on Manta. And you can also provide liquidity of 200 WUSDM. And those things should also give you an additional airdrop allocation. There are also Galaxy tasks currently for orderly network, but I will talk about that in a few seconds again. Next thing on our list today is Dmail Network. Also covered this project extensively on my channel that I'm using this for airdrop farming on all the different layer two networks. And they will now launch on the 30th of January on OKX and just announced their token allocation. As I mentioned in a previous update, they said they will have more than one airdrop season now. There are two and they provide 3.75% in the first airdrop season and 2.25% of the overall supply in the second one. And the second one here in this case will only go to Dmail point holders, but the first one will, for example, go to paid NFT domain holders, transactions over time community contributors so there we also most likely see galaxy tasks coming into play then the 3d crystal nft holders there is no snapshot for them yet this one will be taken on the 27th of january but i think it's not worth purchasing one of them right now because i don't think the airdrop allocation will be that high that it covers all the cost for your nft but yeah you can do your research on this by yourself if you potentially want to qualify also for season two because this nft gives you I think 500 points per week if you're just holding it. And the last two parts, which I didn't mention yet, which will receive the season one airdrop are Dmail Dev Active Users and also Gitcoin Donors. The airdrop will be claimable on the Binance Smart Chain. There is no link yet. So also follow their Twitter account and wait for the official link to be posted. Then last one on our today's airdrop list is Hava or Hava Coin. I don't know how to pronounce it. This will be another meme coin in the Cosmos ecosystem. We also just, for example, saw Wasmo giving out tokens to Osmosis stakers. Here in this case, a lot more people qualified for this airdrop. You can see Atom, Ejective, Osmo, Juno, Tia, Hua Hua, and Wasmo stakers get a share of the 2.5% which they offer for this airdrop snapshot date. They say here was on the 23rd of January and minimum stake at this point should have been 100 US dollars if you want to qualify for it. I'm not sure if this is safe, so I would wait for the official link to be posted and for the code behind it. The website as well as their Twitter account look solid, but just don't risk your funds for it. Just wait for people to confirm that the link is safe. Last things I wanted to mention are at first the orderly network galaxy tasks over here. There, as I mentioned before, LogX is also included. This is so underrated. I'm farming this now since quite some time. You can see it has around 70K followers. I'm on spot number 338 and definitely not farming this since yesterday. So this might be also a big one launching on optimism and will with a very high likelihood also distribute an airdrop to the contributors. And last thing, last task I wanted to show you is the one for Blast Off, the launch pad of the Blast Layer 2 network. They have a new task on here where you just have to do some social tasks and that's already it. That should do it for today's overview. I know it's a packed video, but airdrop farming is real work. You have to put in some effort and time into this. Otherwise, you will lose out on so many opportunities. So if you have not started yet, do it right now because you will regret it later when all the people are screaming about the airdrops and how much money they made. If you always want to stay up to date because I release such videos on a daily basis here, you might just want to subscribe. If you like today's one, it would be great if you can hit the like button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.